Greetings. Hello, hello. I have put your agenda item at the end because I wasn't sure how many tags we were going to get today. How many? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Fine. Yes. <laughs> We've got most of them, um, but you know, we'll see. Um, uh, the only one that I'm currently missing is uh, the contributor strategy folk, which kind of makes a lot of sense. They're kind of our most American focused group <laughs> and everyone was out yesterday as far as the Americans go. So yeah, I hope everyone had a good long weekend if you had one. <laughs> All right, should we give people a couple of minutes to join? We're at 16, 15. Oh no, we lost one. Oh, oh okay. they're coming back again. <laughs> Dropping in and out. Um, yeah, kind of inclined to be able to hold for app delivery because they, they kind of kick us off first. But yeah, we'll see. It could be a late day. I see people piling in now. Yeah. The trouble is, every time we start five minutes late, I think it gives people like an excuse to think, oh, you know, it always starts five minutes late. I One mean, day. it kind of does always start five minutes late, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, today we'll start four minutes past. And we'll work back minute by minute. Works for me. <laughs> Well, we've got a question in the chat, Amy. Where would one find the time of day for the meetings that occur on the third Tuesday of the month? It's the same time as this It'll one. be on the uh, CNCF public calendar. Give me a second and I will drop a link in for you. Great. Thank you. I just recently started joining to take some notes on behalf of uh, Tag Security. And I, I thought I joined at the right time, uh, the third Tuesday of last month, but it, it was as if I was like an hour late. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't uh, out to lunch. <laughs> All good. Um, go ahead and take a look over on that calendar. Um, but at the same time, first and third Thursdays. Um, Thank you. And welcome. Thank you, too. All right. We seem to have a reasonable turnout. So maybe we should get started. So welcome, everyone. Uh, antitrust, meeting logistics, uh, and uh, I'm sure Amy is working out who's made it today. Mostly today we're going to be doing status updates from the tags and hopefully also from the TOC. So do we have tag app delivery with us? If um, not, we can always uh, I come. I think the only one here is me. Go ahead. Cool. Um, so um, currently uh, we are reviewing Depo for incubation. So um, we are going over the... Oh, sorry. Uh, Artis is already there. So... No, no, this is perfect. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you, you, you are responsible. I'm not here. <laughs> It's nice okay, to hear from, you know, some different voices, have some different participants. It's good. It's all yes, good. but the someone scared him away. I don't know what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe on the projects, and I jump quickly in, and that Thomas jumped in also on the operator white paper. So, project Crossplane, I think, is with the TUC right now for review. We talked to Harry as the TUC liaison about this one. Uh, Depper incubation donation is going on under review. They have prepared the due diligence document. We also want them to uh, present. And uh, yeah, I think there's some open questions that we will bring up in, on, on, on the DEPA review um, because it's kind of like a different project in what it's doing and how it, how it fits in, but um, we will keep you posted, but we definitely want them to present to the uh, tag first. 
And now, Thomas, you can talk about your, not your, like your personal, but the operator white paper. Okay, so um, we we are very proud to to can announce that the operator white paper is finished. So currently, we are trying to make it a bit more pretty, waiting for the PDF, and afterwards we can um, publish it. Um, so pretty cool thing. Um, another thing is that the work on the chaos engineering white paper worked. Um, so I think they have kind of a chart and so on. Uh, but I think Arlo, Arlo is already knows more about this. Yeah, they are in the early stages. So there is a charter document team. The security team is now joining uh, in as well, providing some of their input. Uh, so just got input here. Um, tag security, is it? Tag security, sorry, yeah. 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 Uh, people, tag security, so, so to your feedback, we have like the networking, app delivery, and security there together. That's also why we're trying to put this into like this uh, working group mode, but with uh, KubeCon reviews and everything and everybody being super busy, this moved a bit slower than it was initially supposed to move. It. Um, we expected it to do. The good thing is we are moving in the right direction. It just takes us a bit longer and all the necessary. I know so people from all the techs are already involved in there. Right, and I can see um, quite a few participants in that chaos engineering working group charter. So, um, I'm guessing if anyone else is interested in getting involved, they can reach out to Tag App Delivery. Yes, reach out to us then. And presumably the same is true for that cooperative delivery. Yeah, this is the one that changed its name. It was called an application enablement working group. Uh, we were not super happy with that name. Then we came up with cooperative delivery and some people might still not be happy with it. I think the content, on, if you look at the charter, is still valuable. We're still struggling a bit with the name um, there, but this is really about how like we can build more pluggable, interoperable, assemblable um, application and infrastructure level applications together, like problems. I think everybody when, when, who reads it is clear about the problem statement. You might have your manifest available, but then you have your cluster configuration. And then somewhere in between, you figure out that those two things do not fit together when they get deployed to a cluster, because certain things are not uh, working out or different projects handle different aspects, but not everything in full to, to ship something. So this is something we're still iterating on a bit. And also everybody's more than welcome, obviously, to give the, the chart their reads. We want to be very clear on the problem statement. And there are amazing drawings in there done by Alex uh, Jones, who's always doing amazing drawings. Um, and also, if you have ideas for better names, please feel free to come up with a better name. So we all understand, yeah, we understand the problem we want to solve, but we can't give it a nice and clear or a perfectly clear name yet. But the, the problem is there and the use cases are really driven from end user companies to say, this is hard, just that uh, right once deploy everywhere is not working as it's supposed to be. And there are dependencies in there that we have a hard time modeling or, or bringing together. I can see from the draft working group charter, there's, I don't know, 15, 20 different name suggestions in there. So clearly there's uh, oh, yeah. 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 been is, a difficult this problem. Is naming is hard. <laughs> this, this one is where naming is really hard, but uh, again, invite everybody to, to have a read what the problem we're trying to solve. I think lots of people will agree on the problem. Just the naming of that thing that we're trying to do here is a bit hard. All right, sounds good. Okay. Any questions for app delivery from anyone? Okay. Thank you very much, both of you. Um, okay, tag network then. Lee? Tag, tag network. Hello. Hello, good morning. Fairly quick today, I think. So a number of project updates um, since last, well, geez, I don't know. Um, you know what? I can't remember what happened since last we met, um, but I will say that there have been, um, there are a number of, a few projects under current review. So if you train your eyes to the left-hand side, the middle set of bullets, um, Cilium is under review for incubation and it's going through um, diligence now. 
Um, Linkerd is also up for graduation, and I believe it's in public comment um, as of now, but we'll hear more about both of those, I think, toward the latter part of the call. Um, YARP was recently um, reviewed for consideration in Sandbox. Um, a couple of other projects were also recently reviewed for consideration in Sandbox, uh, Meshery and Service Mesh Performance. And I think it was those three, uh, with, inclusive of YARP, that were just reviewed. The, uh, there's also, um, not listed here, but, but just, um, just coming notes to me as of a few minutes ago, um, Chaos Mesh is also proposed for incubation. So it should be a third bullet point under projects under review. Um, and so if Calvin, if you're on the phone, um, you guys are on the agenda for presentation next, uh, next time we meet, so. Yeah, and by, by you guys, I mean you all. Uh, I, I grew up. I grew up in the Midwest, so it's like uh, that's just how. Um, good, Calvin, you're on, and, and uh, good. We'll we'll keep you up nice and. You know, Calvin, we, we should probably make consideration for the fact that uh, we should. And, and Amy has facilitated this in the past. It's been great, but we should probably find an earlier, a couple hours earlier. It's a pretty torturous time for you all. Thank you. Thanks for being so thoughtful. Yeah, we need to, good, good. And we need to, in general, work on our the timings of the the working groups, uh, the working group meetings, and the uh, SIG network meetings anyway. And so this is a good uh, a good ca uh, catalyst for us to do that. Yeah. We're also and so um, Liz and Dave, who are both on the TOC liaisons for Tag Network, have been um, supportive in trying to ensure that we've got um, enough tech leads, enough co-chairs um, that to help steward tag network. And so um, that'd been kind of an, an action item that we've been working on for a while. And um, Ed Warnicky is uh, an individual that had been um, active in the tag for quite some long time, has been focused in this general networking area for quite some time. He's a I'm going to get his particular, the nuance of his particular title wrong at, at Cisco, but he's a um, distinguished um, services engineer. He's a distinguished engineer with some other clarification in there. Anyway, um, he is uh, shortly to be um, nominated for co-chair for, for consideration for review from all of you. Um, as we'll say more about Ed and who he is and his focus um, in that nomination. But some of you already know Ed, so... Uh, and uh, it, it kind of with that, part of the focus is to, well, liven up a little bit of what we're doing. Like we are intentionally, within the charter, we are intentionally trying to liaise with um, other group, you know, with the projects within the tag, um, but also, and so getting some updates from them on occasion, maybe once a year is like something that would be ideal if they were just even to present their annual review um, might be um, quite nice. Uh, it also is the case that Kubernetes SIG network has um, any number of things going on that like the gateway API spec is, is it comes to mind immediately, but um, it's been a long time since we've invited them to kind of present the, the latest uh, activities there to cross pollinate. And so hopefully with um, the help of potentially a new co-chair, um, we'll get more activities going in that regard. And that's the, yeah, that's the deal. That's the update. Sounds fantastic. Any questions for Lee from anyone? And good to see some more people coming into leadership roles as well. That's excellent. All right, who's next? Uh, we got observability or is that, am I looking in the wrong? Nope, you we were looking the right thing. Okay. Move too fast. Observability okay. is up. I hope we've got someone here from them. Uh, I'm going to take that first bullet, suggesting maybe they're not here. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, no, go ahead. To, I, I'm not an official representation, I'm, I'm afraid. But um, Richie, you yeah, had mentioned that uh, he's has an internal uh, conflict, unfortunately, that came up last minute. Uh, so uh, I, I actually can't 
speak to everything, um, of course, that the um, SIG has been up to, but uh, there's, I think like it's pretty exciting to see the observability white paper uh, come to a close uh, with, with the news tech picking it up, obviously. And uh, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of exciting up and coming things happening um, that I'm willing to talk a little bit to what I know uh, that is happening in the area. But uh, that, I mean, I, I think that uh, folks have already put together a lot of the information on this slide and it's probably not worth me talking through the any more points and what's outlined. So okay. yeah, Richie sends his apologies. Okay, uh, thank you for stepping in, Rob, um, and welcome. Uh, so the observability white paper, where it says close to done, and the new stack is picking it up as a reference. Does that does it need a kind of review cycle? I, I'm I'm just sort of hesitating on are the new stack going to say yeah this is the CNCF statement. Great question. And yeah, uh, so it's had a lot of internal review uh, in terms of uh, um, reviewing with uh, other CNCF members. I think that obviously with uh, the the single very open to to doing that. Um, I'm not a hundred percent certain on the status of that, but I can get Richie to uh, follow up and, and make sure that's happening. Great, thank you. Yeah, it'd be great to send it around on the TSC mailing list and and just make sure there isn't a. Uh, uh, but yeah, make sure everybody's on board. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, we'll, we'll send around to the mailing list and uh, make sure any further reviews that, that need to happen, happen. Fantastic, thank you. And uh, actually just going back one one more question. Do you happen to know what the, is Optant, uh, I'm, I'm wondering what the status of that is. Is that applying to be part of CNCF or was that more of an ecosystem presentation? I believe that was a, a presentation, uh, but yeah, we can, um, I, I don't believe at this time they're, they're looking to submit uh, okay. the project, but yeah, I, I can um, definitely follow up on that as well. That's fair, it was just a clarification. I, I think it's great if we're hearing from and exploring projects, even if they're not necessarily part of the CNCF, it's all part of the broader ecosystem, so it's all good. All right. Any questions for tag observability? Okay, was it, who was next? Runtime. It is runtime. Hey, everyone. Okay. Hey, Ricardo. Uh, so some of the dates for tag runtime. So um, as far as uh, presentations and projects uh, in the workload and orchestration space, we had a presentation from CADA for incubation and the project's already uh, in their public uh, comment period uh, and it's open for another week. Uh, so if you have any comments, Feel free to uh, post them on the document or on the mailing list. And um, we did actually uh, post some review comments. Um, and I, we think it's uh, in good state for incubation, but uh, hopefully uh, other people have some feedback. Another project that uh, presented was uh, K Armada. And this is a multi cluster. Um, Kubernetes and multi-cloud uh, uh, environment uh, for Kubernetes. And, and uh, basically this is a project that uh, it's a continuation of a federation, V1 and V2. And so uh, pretty exciting for those people trying to run the Kubernetes and in multi-cloud environments. Uh, I don't know yet if they're applying for Sandbox, so I'm checking with the uh, maintainers. So hopefully we'll, they'll be interested in applying for the CNCF uh, Sandbox or incubation or whatever you know they would like to do. Uh, in the containers and runtime space, uh, we reached out to a project called Yuki. 
uh, and this is a container runtime in Rust. I think there was another one that presented uh, a few weeks ago, but this is uh, another uh, take on the container runtimes in Rust. So hopefully we'll have them present. And last but not least in the MLOps um, uh, AI edge space, we had the TFX project present. Uh, this is an end-to-end -end machine learning, uh, kind of like Kubeflow, uh, that's a project from Google. Uh, uh, so pretty good engagement from then, as, uh, you know, as far as uh, telling us you know, what the project is about. Super Edge is another project uh, in the edge computing space and they presented in our last meeting and they're, they're actually applying for Sandbox. So this is another take on uh, edge computing like uh, Cube Edge or, or Open Yurt. So they have uh, some similarities, but also a, a slightly different take. Uh, so they're applying for Sandbox. ML Flow, uh, uh, we reached out to some members, so hopefully we'll have a presentation from them. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this is end, also end-to-end -end machine learning from similar to Kubeflow and, and TFX. And K0S is another Kubernetes distribution for the edge, kind of like K3S, so uh, we'll, we also reached out to them and. We expect them to have present sometime uh, soon. And as far as tag runtime activity, oh, sorry, in the NMA, MLOps space, there was uh, another uh, project called uh, QDL that applied for, it's not listed here, but they apply for Sandbox and they got accepted. So that falls within the scope of the, of the uh, tag, uh, which is uh, QDL is Q uh, deep learning. So is in that uh, machine learning type of space. And as far as the attack runtime activities, uh, so uh, we are planning, a, or we submitted a KubeCon North America session, so we plan to have some updates there and hopefully we'll have somebody present in person uh, if, it'll, uh, if, if it's possible. And we're also engaging this other community called uh, the MLOps community. Uh, so hopefully we'll have uh, some collaboration together with them. Uh, so some of the projects in the MLOps space, uh, you know, are also engaged with this community. So this will help uh, drive more interests and uh, projects, you know, in, in the tag. And finally, uh, we have um, Evan Lazar taking over some of the work that uh, Renault, Renault had been making in the container orchestrating uh, working group, container orchestrated device working group. Uh, so he's moving on to some other work in, at NVIDIA. So uh, Evan will be taking over that. And yeah, that's all the updates. Uh, happy to take any questions. Any questions from anyone? All right, thank you for the update. Seems like lots going on in the world of runtime mm -hmm. and ML ops in particular, or machine yep. learning in particular. Yeah. Yep. yep. Right, cool. Thank you. Hello, Security. everyone. Hey, hey, Emily. <laughs> Um, so we have a few updates today. Uh, we're going through some security reviews. We're closing out build packs and we'll be kicking off Cloud Custodian. It's actually currently underway right now. So nice to see some progress there. Um, Cloud Native Security Con is happening again this year, previously named today. We're now trying to extend the Cloud Native Security events into more of a con. So expect to see a lot more in this space coming soon. CFP is currently active, closes July 25th. Please retweet, get the word out. This is going to be a hybrid event. It will still feature a capture the flag. And we're also exploring whether or not we can pursue a security village in the main vendor area. 
Um, we've also done some work on our general governance. We've made a chair transition checklist. So for those that are interested and would like to check it out, feel free, there's the link. And Security Pals is going well. Um, of note, Kyverno was engaged with uh, security tag through the Security Pals program, and now they're going to be providing a presentation tomorrow. So if you're interested, check it out. Amazing. Any questions for Emily? Not a question, but a comment. I really like the chair transition checklist when, because when we had like the um, new co-chair voting, this was kind of like a gray zone to some extent for how the transition and everything happens. So great that this is available. Thanks. It's made it a lot easier for us to be able to bring in new chairs and understand everything that we've done to date. So I'm happy to know that other groups are finding it useful. Amy, I wonder if we should put a reference to this from like the general tag documentation so that other tags can find it. Yeah, um, no issue with that. Um, I can drop in a PR for this as I get to cleaning up the repo this week. So all good. Thank you, Amy. Sure. Okay. Storage. Hello, Alex. Hello. Um... So we have a, uh, a couple of projects going through uh, incubation. Um, the Longhorn project is proceeding well, um, and we uh, recently concluded the, the survey from the end users. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll have the document uh, in draft um, to, to share with the sponsor. Um, Chubao FS um, has a sponsor in the, in the DD doc has already been drafted and we're meeting the team uh, to, to review that this week. Um, and Open EPS, uh, we're looking to meet the team hopefully next week to, to decide on, on or to work through um, what, what they need to do to, to, to make some changes to help with their incubation process. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to move that forward as well. Um, the, the big news is um, the cloud native disaster recovery. Um, we've we've spent uh, a number of months um, working on a document uh, which uh, we're really uh, really has taken a really good form now. The primary author there is uh, Raffaele Spazzoli, um, who who joined um, Tag Storage as a as a tech lead recently, um, and. You know, if if you think naming things and terminology is complicated, yeah, disaster, cloud native disaster recovery is 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 a is a minefield. Um, but I think we've we've tried to capture all the all the important bits, um, and I would like to submit this, um, uh, and actually ask if it's the right thing to do. But but I'd like to submit this to the TOC mailing list and and uh, and open it up for. Um, for, for further discussion um, and any other feedback uh, so that we can formalize it and, and turn this into potentially a, a formal cloud native, uh, sorry, formal CNCF document if possible. Um, and now that uh, we've, uh, we've uh, sort of completed the, the majority of this effort on this document, we'll, we'll look to circle back and uh, try and finish off the performance and benchmarking white paper as well. Which, which was sort of deprioritized for the VR document. Great, lots of activity here as well. Yeah. Any questions? It's been, it's been about... exciting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it def definitely sounds like a good document to, to circulate. I think lots of people will love to see that. Any questions from anyone? for tag storage. Okay. Did we get any, I think we skipped over contributor strategy. I believe they're out today. And they're out today, are they? Okay. All right. Have we missed anyone or is that everyone? 
that is all that we have. We are now over into the uh, uh, Project Incubation and Graduation Sponsors. We've talked a lot about some of them running around, so. Yeah, so maybe we can just get a uh, quick update. Oh, Sheng, Sheng. Sheng, got- Sheng you go first, drop. if you've got anyone. Sheng, give us a quick update on the ones you're looking at. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, sorry. Yeah, I, I, uh, thank you. Uh, so just uh, really uh, just virtual kublet and uh, and and actually this is going to be a much longer conversation the issue is uh, uh, virtual kublet doesn't pass the conformance test you know it's just it's uh, it's obvious we all know it's kind of an approximation of what the uh, what the real kublet is supposed to do and uh, and 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 i think there's just been a lot of debate about uh, even within the the, the 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 virtual Kubla team exactly what to do about it exactly what the situation is how much uh, what percentage of the conformance test uh, they should be able to pass or whether that's even reasonable so I actually missed the meeting I was on vacation they had a meeting a week ago to to discuss this and I I, I intend to follow up uh, uh, with them shortly okay and I'll I'll reach out to the to the technical experts in that area and then get a get a read on it and I'll report back. Okay. Thanks for the update, Shane. All right. Uh Elena, are you here? Elena is actually in a conflicting meeting, but she's let me know that Open Metrics currently has some kind of open questions, but open telemetry is actually ready to be called for a vote. Okay, good. Right. So open metrics is still out for public comment. Is that Correct. right? Right. Okay, um, Justin, are you here? Also, stuck in a separate meeting because that Monday thing collides into Tuesdays. So, um, oh gosh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> no updates from him on Intoto or on um, Cilium right now. Okay, uh, me for Cada. So, Cada incubation due diligence document is out for public comment. I think that was already mentioned. It's got about a week left if you have any comments to make. Saad, are you with us? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and Lee is also separately not with us. So this okay. is going to be kind of short. Um, recommend rippling on to Ricardo. Yeah. Yeah, I think for Crossplane, we are ready to open the public comment. So this should happen very soon. And for Cloud Custodian, I, I need to sync again. We had a call a couple of weeks ago. And we wanted to sync to start due diligence. So this should happen quite soon. All right, thank you. And Dave, is Dave here? No, but Dave have made a note to me saying Link Linker Day is pretty much ready to be uh, called for a vote. So all right. Good stuff. Well, thank you everyone who was here and was able to give updates. Uh, any questions or any other business anyone would like to raise? All right. Seems like we... There's a quick note in chat from uh, Lee oh. that says uh, Cilium is still like moving through and, and all good things there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, unless anyone has any other business they can write in about the next 10 seconds, I think we'll call it a day. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week, everyone. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.